Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. Today I'm going to show you how in SOLIDWORKS Composer we can assign BOM IDs so that they carry over for your entire project. First, we'll take a look at why they don't. The BOM ID is a property value and the default value is blank. So if I take a look at this component, the BOM ID in a different view is blank. The BOM ID in my parts list has been set. When we're working with a parts list and we're either manually assigning or generating BOM IDs using some of the automated tools in Composer, what we're really doing is we're setting that property value in this particular view. However, if we take that property and we set that as the neutral property, we're changing the default value so if we go to a different view we can see how that value will carry over to all of our other views. So here's the process that I like to use to set this so that all of the assigned values will carry over. In my parts page I go to the BOM tab and individually select each group of components. The reason I do it this way is so that it's selecting all of the actors that have been assigned a particular BOM ID value. So we select each group, we set the BOM ID property as the neutral value. Now if we go over to a different view, select an actor, we can see that the BOM ID value carries over. And now if we place a callout in any of these other views, the callout will populate with the appropriate BOM ID. We can update our view. So using this process, you can quickly set all your BOM IDs to carry over to all your different views and place some callouts throughout your entire documentation. Thanks for watching TPM's 3-Minute Thursdays.